Pleasure to meet you, man. I appreciate y'all having me, man. Salute, salute, salute. Sir. Ah, <laughs> tell these niggas. What up, world? It's your boy, BA for Real 100, and welcome to Get Your Bars Up, Media. Salute, salute, salute. Uh, so, I haven't did one of these in a minute. Yeah, I'm out and about. I'm out, I'm, I'm out and about doing my thing, but uh, I definitely want to speak on this one situation. We had some bombs drop today. We had some bombs drop today. Ah! So, we had uh, Chris Unbiased. Of course, who's under a lot of scrutiny and uh, under a lot of pressure right now from the people. You feel me? And I would say about 80% of the battle rap community is, is, is out for him. Is, to get, is trying to get him the fuck out of here. But not so fast. Not so fast. Um, with that being said, this Chris, uh, Chris Unbiased dropped the blog today. Right? And the blog that he dropped today... He was bombing. He was bombing. He was bombing on a few people. He was bombing on a few people today. Uh, one being Debo. And we're going to talk about Debo Live that he did too. We're going to talk about that as well. We're going to talk about that he didn't look that good with the response or whatever. You trying to make fun of it. Yeah. You didn't do it. Ah, Debo, come on, get your bars up. But with that being said, uh, he. Um, he talked about uh he talked about Swave Seven. He talked about Battle Truth. Uh he even threw Cola in there. Ah Anwar. Like he was going like and the thing that's crazy is when he was dropping them bombs though, like he was talking his ish. He was trying to eat her. He was trying to eat her. People gonna say he was deflecting. He might have been kind of deflecting a little bit, but hey, with that being said, whether he was deflecting or not, he was dropping some bombs. Whether they are they truth bombs, I don't know. I don't know. You got you got to ask that nigga. You got to ask that nigga if they truth bombs and ask the people he was talking about if they was truth bombs. But hey, he was getting at people. But the the uh, it's it's uh, it's a few that stood out. It's a few that stood out. But one of them stood out to me specifically. And this is the uh, the battle truth situation. This nigga had the receipts too for a lot of y'all niggas out there saying he ain't messed with his daughter and, and she was of age. What you talking about when she was older? That wasn't even. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Because niggas gonna be getting their feelings after they watch this shit. But uh, with that being said, so he talks to us. So he brings up Battle Truth. And the very first thing he says is. The very first thing he shows and he talks about is, yeah, Battle Truth, didn't, she wasn't 14 years old. Yeah, but she, but he was 25 and something, da da da, da Then he brings up the footage. When he brings up the footage of Battle Truth asking uh, his his uh, his daughter, uh, was I, did we have sexual relationships, uh, relations when you were 14? She, <laughs> she on the phone, she says, nuh-uh. When I was 16, get out of here, stop you. We not doing that Battle Truth. <laughs> That was you, nigga. That was you. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny at all. It's not funny. And I'm not hating at all by any means because I don't have no horse in this race at all. But, yeah, he called that out. He called that out. And Battle Truth pretty much said, yeah, yeah. He, he was like, yeah, when she said I was six, I'm 16, he was like, he was like, yeah, yeah, right? You were 16. You weren't 14. Mm, she still was super young. And where I'm from, that's still statutory. But that's another story. Anyways, um, he called out Battle Troop. Got, did some ether than Anwar. He went in hard on Anwar. He went in crazy on Anwar. Ah, and I don't know Anwar. I don't know that nigga either. But I'm going to keep it 100. He did. He was, uh, you would, nigga, you wasn't even supposed to be there. Nigga, don't nobody know you. Look at your views compared to mine. Nigga, you the woman of your relationship. Your wife. Oh, shit. That nigga was talking. I know y'all like, oh, oh, I don't fuck with Chris. I'm biased. I'm disassociated too until I hear some news. But I'm not going to be one of these niggas that say, yo, um, you did that shit, and you deserve to be under the da 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 because I don't know. I don't know. There is no verdict or nothing. So that's why I'm staying out of this, and that's why you have... This is probably the first blog that I've mentioned. You feel me? I had B-Magic on a few months ago, and he laughed about the situation, all of that shit. But I'm not saying that he did it. I'm not saying he not. I'm going to stay the fuck up out of this. But anyways, um, Swave. Swave is my guy. I rock with Swave. But he has some disturbing stuff that he said about Swave. Swave switching up. Uh, Swave had a, had a chance to to holler at, at, at Adep and, and talk to him, but then let him go. But then it was like, man, fuck this nigga. 
that was crazy. Um, but the uh, yeah, D out of Henny Man, he got on Henny Man too. He so I'm gonna have to holler. I'm gonna have caps. You know I'm gonna holler at you. I'm gonna have to holler at you, bro. Definitely gonna have to holler at you because from my understanding, from what I heard. It wasn't gib gibberish. It was clear talk. It was clear speaking. You mean to tell me that D.I. the Henny Man was, uh, you and Chris, unbiased, was supposed to take D.I. the Henny Man's place? Y'all were supposed to take his spot? You are real. And that's why you are real. Okay, get him a bat. Stop it. No, I'm not disrespecting you, Henny Man. I'm not. I'm just stating the facts. I'm just stating what they was talking about. The fact, the stuff that came, that they, they came out of Chris, Chris's mouth, the words that came out of his mouth when he was talking crazy. He was talking crazy. Is this true? Is this true? Does URL really disrespect you? He brought up the Sioux Surf. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, I, it, I, I'm not trying to be messy, but I got to hear some responses. I got to hear some responses. Cause a lot of people said that, that a lot of niggas putting him under the bus, and I know he may be still under the bus. He may not be. Maybe I don't know where he at. Cause we still ain't got no verdict yet. But with that being said, now we get to <laughs> Debo. He calls out Debo for everything today. He calls out Debo for scamming women, scamming the female battle rappers, blocking battles. Every he got on Debo's helmet. Debo, come on, man, come on, Debo, fight back. So then Debo has his little, uh, has his, uh, his his blog today, the Big Homie Show. Shout out to Uncle Ra, that's my guy, his family. I fuck with Uncle Ra, nothing but respect. Fifteen minutes of fame, you feel me? Even been on the show, you dig? So salute to them, salute. But uh, Debo, I mean Chris, I'm biased. After he did Debo blog, Debo, I mean, after he talked about Debo, Debo went and did a blog. And when Debo was on the blog, Debo was trying to bring up and make everything ha ha, laugh, he laughed. And then Chris Unbiased is donating money to the channel, like, like <laughs> trolling that nigga from the chat. And then Debo was like, I'm going to call you. He called him and <laughs> Chris Unbiased was sending that straight, sending that shit straight to voicemail. That nigga Chris somebody was like, nigga, I ain't here to give you views. I give you a little, but I ain't here to give you views. Nigga, I'm not about to talk to you, nigga. Talk! Nigga, it was entertaining. I ain't about the mess, but I don't give a fuck today. We got to talk about this shit. This will be the first and only time you hear me talk about this shit on my channel. This will be the first and only time you hear me talk about this shit until we hear a verdict. Until we hear a verdict. But all in all, very, very entertaining day in battle rap. Fuck actual battle rap right now because we're going to talk about all that stuff uh, tomorrow tomorrow night. Make sure you tune in because we're going to talk about um, uh, the different cars that are, that are dropping, etc. You feel me? Me and my peoples. Uh, but with that being said, how are y'all feeling about today's events? Because I know a lot of y'all were in y'all. I know y'all y'all be trying to act all high and mighty like, oh man, you know, I just, you know, I don't watch that stuff. Get the fuck out of here. You know you love that drama sometimes. You know you love that drama. Life is about balance, right? It's about balance. It's about balance. You know you love that drama when you're not in it. Facts! <laughs> but anyways, um... Uh, my opinions on this, uh, once again, my opinions on this Chris Unbiased situation, and I'm going to leave it here. If if he is, uh, if he's indicted and charged and all of that shit, and he, uh, for this, the, the, he, and he gets caught up in this and, and he go, and, and it's, and it's facts. All of this shit is facts about the ladies and all of that shit. And he goes to jail, throw that nigga up under a cell. You deserve that shit. You should not rape a woman. You feel me? Justice for the ladies. Not just for Shannon, but for the ladies, for all the ladies involved. Justice, 100%. You feel me? Especially if you have a daughter, if you have a mommy, you have an auntie, any, nah. Nah, justice for the ladies. But if it's the other way around, though, ah, uh, that nigga don't get charged and he out here in the street kicking it, going to, his, going to these events like, what up? I didn't get, hey, I'm acquitted. All of these charges. Yeah, now what? It's a lot of y'all niggas. Uh, it's a lot of y'all niggas out there. That's gonna uh, y'all gonna be. Uh, yeah, y'all gonna have to eat y'all words. Y'all gonna have to eat y'all words. But 
if if was the fifth, we all be drunk. We, we all be fucked up. But it's not. Is it a possibility? Yes. But once again, we going to see. I got high hopes for you niggas. We going to see. But um, yeah, justice, either justice for the ladies or justice for the accused. Whatever the verdict says, period, period. Because at the end of the day, most of us don't even know what the fuck is going on anyway. We just hear one thing and we run with it because that's how that's, hey, it's, it's entertainment to a lot of people. And um, yeah, it is what it is. But anyways, I got to get up out of here, man. I just wanted to do a quick blog from the whip uh, because I'm moving around right now. But hey, <sighs> ah, y'all got to tell me what y'all think about the situation. Don't be shy. Go to that comment section, hit that like button, all of that shit. And let me know what y'all think. I gotta know what my people think about this situation. This situation is, is wild, but it's funny and it's entertaining, but it can be serious as well because like I said, if this is if this all turns and stems to be true, fuck fake pet paperwork or fuck people saying that they seen this and they got this, fuck all of that. But if this is true, hey, Chris, you gotta go to jail, my nigga. You gotta get the fuck up out of here. If it's true. But if not, it's a lot of niggas that owe you apologies. Or it's a lot of niggas that just got to shut the fuck up and talk about something else. But anyways, this your boy BA for Real 100. This is Get Your Bars Up Media. If this is your first time here, click that subscribe button. You rock with me, I rock with you. And if you're out there hating, just because you think I'm a new guy, you just not stumbling upon my page and I've been doing this for a minute. <laughs> then all I can truly say is thank you for coming and get your bars up. Salute, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Once again, y'all tell me what y'all think about this, man. Tell me what y'all think about this. The events today. Not about the situation because we know what's going on over there. But what about the events today? Ah, drama. Y'all know y'all like that shit. Anyways, holla. Salute. We'll be back.